So, we've been talking about cable all morning, um, and as you can see, uh, the divergence, a lower low, the fail to make a lower low compared to this low, and uh, a huge low. So, you can see the price has gradually, right from here, started to um, lose its momentum to the downside. Uh, middle of the London session now approaching it's 11.53 approaching the American session and this often happens but um, the reason I'm making this video is really just um, to point out how uh, these reversals when they happen do offer opportunities of uh, making profits. Uh, I talked about this one here the reversal and then the pullback to test old resistance here as support here um, and uh, it's important to remember to use every time frame uh, the higher time frames to sort of confirm what you're seeing on the charts uh, I don't think I stress that enough so um, in this instance here we could draw some more lines on the chart so if I was watching this reversal here and con considering trading it I know it's bounced off a massive level an old daily low there was half an expectation it might go further. This is why you should never assume anything to the S1 and 124 level. I might well trade that uh, if it goes short, if I get a good short signal. Easy way for that is uh, just draw an ascending trend line. That's a strategy in itself, just trading trend line breaks like that with the trend, the, the higher time frame trend got this going on here as well um, so talking about this reversal you can clearly see the what happened was it fails to make a new low this one failed to make a new low but remember high low lower high lower low in order to be a valid reversal it would have to close above that line there it didn't high low lower high lower low failed to make a new low and then it reversed up and um, not sure if it closed there hang on let's have a look the close of that candle was and this is critical to the micro pip the close was 124216 and the yellow was 124217 so that actually uh, failed to close now if this opened higher i.e. 217 or above then I'd consider that to be a valid reversal but I don't think it did open 215 so uh, there was actually a, a gap to the downside on that one that's unusual so this was the um, close and uh, break and close and then we got a little pullback just to check uh, old resistance acting as support and then it continued up at this point we'd want to check the higher time frame see what was going on there in fact it's one candle over isn't it the green one is the uh, valid the red was a break and close green one was a valid continuation we've got uh, we're green and above zero that's very bullish as well on the histo m15 uh, where's our m15 reversal level m15 reversal level is that candle there high low lower high lower low now ideally I'd have liked to have seen a close above that at the same time as a close above the um, M5 so the high of that uh, the high of that red candle rather is 124285 and the open it's easier to get that open 124287 so it did and that's why this exploded little pop back on the 15 minute to uh, check old resistance broken as new support a uh, new um, support and that candle was worth uh, 22 pips and there's the divergence again there still um, lower low and a, a lower low making a higher low um, so had I not been watching videos and listening to the radio and uh, happy with my uh, 10 times uh, not 10 times what I'm on about uh, 38 pips or thereabouts so seven times my daily cash and pip requirement I only 
really need five pips, I ought to change that, but uh, there's no need really. So um, I'm uh, extremely happy with the end of week that uh, I'm not really interested in uh, taking any more trades at this point. But as you can see, we could have got plenty more trades just out of this move here. Um, scalpers, especially on a one minute chart or whatever, hopefully should have made an absolute ton. So, but um, there you go. So there's the reversal. Uh, and um, I hope this video has been of value to you. Um, I adjusted this li line slightly to be on the exact top of that, um, what's it? So if you're looking at previous videos, it will look a little bit higher now. Um, and uh, as you can see, we've also sprung back to test the hourly 8 EMA, um, which in, it, in itself is a uh, another um, uh, way to trade uh, using all of these things that I consider are extremely interesting and extremely useful if you like indicators. Important to note at this point as well this doesn't repaint. You must have indicators that are solid non-repainting indicators if that's what you're going to use. Candlesticks of course are indicators in their own right and they don't repaint of course. So, Candlestick analysis, support and resistance analysis, uh, candlestick reversal analysis you name it we've got it on here you know this is a swing trend and I'll just mention this as well these candlestick breaks are swing breaks as well and that's what I've done I've turned old-fashioned swing uh, trading there's your swings to swing there's swing one swing two swing three swing four and swing five I always talk about being the trade and there it is so you've got swing one, swing two, swing three, and then swing four, which is the accumulation or distribution phase, depending on which way you're trading. Accumulation in this instance, and then the breakout. And all that can be seen by candle highs. There's your M5 high, used as uh, old resistance became new support. There's your an M15 high, traded as new old resistance becomes new support. And resistance over here. Uh, you could draw a descending trend line here. You know, what more information do you need to actually trade um, profitably? You just have to be very disciplined and not jump in. Don't get anxious. You know, there's been probably 10 trading opportunities this morning just on cable. So you just wait and let do your levels let the trades come to you. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh, just before I say that, look, these are old levels of uh, support. A day, That daily low we broke, targeted now, being tested as resistance. It's been tested. We've got another uh, ancient, uh, well, it's not ancient, but an H4 low from today, uh, tested as resistance. We've got an old um, H1 high here being attempted to break through no doubt so you know and there's the gap that was a magnificent little gap there drawn on the charts possibly hours ago 12 pips draw the levels trade the gaps in fact that's a daily low from the 15th two days ago price broke it tested it busted it massive um, momentum on this M1 chart as well you know all of these things are tools in your toolbox that will aid your trading thanks for watching have a great weekend oh and the reason I'm making so many videos is it's raining outside so I can't get out